and I don't want to take too much thunder, but yet at the same time, uh, I've been in this game a long time. And every time one of these occasions come, I can't help it, but I do get emotional inside. I was that way when I was a player. And I've only been here two years, and coming back to northern Michigan, but I don't think I've been with a, a better group of seniors than this bunch here. Uh, my heart feels so good for these seniors, and like I said, I've only had just a couple of years to coach them. I haven't been here all the way through four or five years, but what a great bunch. And what a fantastic job that these guys did. You look at that team that we had a year ago that went 10-1 and one and we got beat 13-7 to seven by Portland State. And we saw them get in the finals against North Dakota State. And then this year we go 8-3. and three. And I can't help but think in my heart and feel in my heart in the way these seniors gave from their heart and what this game meant to them. And my hat is off to our 19 seniors. And I want to say something to the seniors before I get into the most valuable player award as, as far as the offensive line. And I say this in my meetings and I mean this very sincere. I think the game of sport, the game of football, and all, all the way down the line, there's nothing better. It's fantastic. I think Hal put it in the right direction. That basically it's only a temporary situation. It's not a permanent thing. When you're through football, you've got to go out on your job. And you've got to go out and make a living for the rest of your life. But as I say to the kids, and I want to say to these seniors, your accomplishment is not only the time that you put in the game of football, it's not only the wins and the losses, and the good times, and sometimes the little setbacks, but it's the things that you got out of the game of sport. And I know that every one of you guys that came into this program that was recruited by Coach Greinke and the former staff, you're a better guy now than when you came in. You're a stronger person now than when you came in. And that speaks well for you fellas. And it speaks well for our program. And that's what it's all about. If you can be a better guy when you leave Northern Michigan than when you came in, that's a tre tremendous accomplishment in itself. And my hat is off to you seniors. And I mean that. Now Coach on. Buck, fourth quarter. That's immediately what comes to mind is fourth quarter. I think it's because we were running fourth quarter in the turf room and Coach Buck was there. And everybody just kept on talking about Coach Buck, Coach Buck Nystrom. And everybody knew that he was a legend. And just all the excitement that picked up from the first time he was at that first practice. And we didn't know what he was doing there. I remember Napoli having an anxiety attack too. I think that was the same time. But what, what Coach Buck taught me and all the coaches at Northern is the same thing that I'm passing down to other men now, young men. And that's what they taught me. You know, be able to pass that down. Make men of you. Be a better man, like that video says. I mean, I've seen that over and over. Be a better man. Thanks, Coach Buck.
Thanks, Coach Buck. I think this is Marty Cross's helmet. <laughs>